Is it possible, for the first time in existence, for a prequel to be better than its predecessor? Let's find out this week as I take Monsters Inc. versus Monsters University. Oh, I'm scared. With excitement. While Monsters U does indeed focus on the two main leads from Monsters Inc., their characters play out much different in this one. Mike Wazowski is, for all intents and purposes, the same, voiced by Billy Crystal, but James P. Sullivan, or Sully for short, played by John Goodman, is an entirely different beast. Pun intended. In Monsters University, Sully is a bit of a douche. It's almost entirely new faces, outside of a couple small cameos. And those fresh faces are surprisingly voiced by a large number of popular actors. We have Helen Mirren voicing the Dean. We have Charlie Day from Always Sunny in Philadelphia as Art, who is, by the way, hilarious in this film. Aubrey Plaza from Parks and Rec, a show I love and you should watch. Bonnie Hunt, for some reason, is randomly in this. Bill Hader's in the mix. Jim from The Office throws his hat into the ring. Hell, we even have Nathan Fillion stepping off Serenity to jump in the mix. Here's the rub, as the kids say. Do they hold a candle to Boo from the original? Yeah, ask yourself that. Do they handle Boo? I'm going with draw on this one. Canvas, Mark Draw on the board back there. Your name's seriously Canvas? Who named you that? Get out. No. Don't even get your stuff, just leave. Let's move on to round two. Story. I don't know why I said it like that. Well, let's dive in a little deeper. Let's get the scuba gear on and jump in head first. We're doing water analogies right now on a Monster Zinc versus episode. That's how lost I am in this show. So Monsters, Inc. is what I would classify as a wholly unique film. It's extremely creative, it's fantastically written, and hell, it has one of the top 10 endings of all time. Yeah, I just said that, of all time. And because I've said it, on the internet, it has now become fact. It, it is stamped, kss, branded fact. Even thinking about the scene, makes me start to tear up a bit. Here they come. Here they come. Open them. Ta da! Mike. Open the door. Sorry, it took so long, pal. Open. Open the door. Open, open the door. Open the fucking door. We've been waiting to see her again. Oh my god, here we go. Oh my god. If she says kitty, I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna break down right now. Kitty. <laughs> she said it. It hurts so good. It hurts so good. So where does that leave Monsters U? Well, it's more run of the mill. There's no question about that. But that doesn't mean it's bad. It's extremely funny. It plays off all those frat films. It has countless references. I couldn't count them. So therefore, it, it is countless. Age can be a cruel whore. And that's no exception when it comes to animation. If anything, it's more abundantly clear how much age affects these films. Monsters, Inc. is a beautiful film. I can feast on it for hours. Um, yum, 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 just eat it up. Monsters University is a gorgeous buffet that I can feast on for an eternity. Uh, yeah, until five years from now when a prettier looking picture comes out and makes it look like ass in comparison. But for right now, University is just a shining beacon of glory that I can gaze upon and, and just take it all in. If it weren't for the giant green and purple monsters in the foreground, I would think that that campus is real. Uh, granted, I wouldn't be able to get into the University if it did exist, because I'm not a scare. I don't have the ability to scare. Let me prove it. <sighs> <laughs> that was me growling. In the original Monsters, Inc., I turned to the door sequence. I thought that was wonderfully done, albeit a bit long in the tooth. It could have, it, they could have cut it a little bit. But then you go to Monsters, U, and there's four or five of these fantastic scenes. You got the college games, the scare games, or trials, or whatever the f*** it's called. 
Uh, there's like three or four different ones there that are just awesome to watch. And they never overstay their welcome. That they could have stretched this out, padded it, and made it two or three more films. But they didn't. They gave us one tight package. And if there's anything I like, it's tight packages. That sound gay? So when I think about the music, I don't know, it's serviceable. It's, it's well done, it's Pixar. They don't make bad movies uh, outside of uh, Brave. <clears throat> we get some nice emotional songs in Monsters, Inc. We get some fun frat house playful music in Monsters University. I'll give it a draw, but it's not really brings me into these films. It's definitely no Prince Ali or Be Our Guest. There's just none of that around anymore. <laughs> I am so emotional today. <laughs> There's really not a lot to compare in these two films outside of the lead characters. So why have the debate at all, you ask? Well, now that you asked, it's because I'm curious to hear what you thought about the new film versus the old one. Was it necessary to be made? Did you see it as a soulless cash grab? Perhaps you thought the original wasn't that great and this university was a film that they needed to make from the get-go. I'm also gonna leave you with this. More than just reviews, this is Movie Feuds. And now for the scare. Hey! <laughs> Why can't I scare? The foil, the foilage, foilage. I can't say that word. Foilage, foilage, foilage.